and welcome back to another episode of TV and J Podcast. With me today is Troy Brittingham. You sure you don't want to do that one again? Nope. All right. I'm show. Jeff Ackerman. Maybe yep. one more take. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the TB and J Podcast. Is that how you're saying that? Is that, that, is that uh, good? Hey, hey, do you want to do, do another take? Are you sure? One you're more. One real, more. One more. Are you the real Jeffrey Ackerman? Oh, oh! D uncovered the bit. He got the mm. bit. See, because the real Jeff would never do anything that outlandish and flamboyant. I don't yeah, you would never try. Damn. <laughs> I would never try. D, Troy, Jeff, we're all here. We're talking about scrolls and Marvel and all the bullshit. So let's dive in. Jimmy and Jay! Jimmy and Jay! All signs would point to me being a scroll right now because I'm not drinking something I normally drink. I'm acting a little different. Uh-huh. I'm not a gin guy normally, but you're, this is a delicious uh, bright, gin cocktail. Bright green. Um, I'm also bright green. Yeah, yeah. That, your ears are super pointy, and I can see them popping out of the headphones. I was gonna say I'm wearing over-the-ear headphones. How right, did you see right. my ears? Yeah, the little scrotum uh, chin. Episode one: Marvel Secret Invasion, starring Sam L. Jackson, Amelia Clark, and a bunch of other people. And thumbs up, thumbs down. How we feeling, Troy? Uh, thumbs up. D, how we feeling? Thumbs up. <laughs> wow, that sounded really forced, like it was a bad shit you had to get out of your ass. Oh my god. I uh I don't know how I feel about it yet. I, I'm I'm hesitantly giving it a thumbs up. I'm in a I'm, similar boat as yeah, D. I, I think I think I'm in the same camp of I don't feel like I have enough of an opinion on this to be like I don't like it. I don't like the trope of the old badass is back, and he's lost a few steps because he's old, and he's not quite the guy he used to be, and now these new guys are here, and they're fucking shit up, and he can't handle it because he's old. Well, and that like, last part's not really happening in this yet, so... Well, the the rebellion and the, the British lady he was talking to, and the, she was just okay. like, you're too old, and you like didn't teenage. even see my thugs coming your way. The old Nick Fury would have seen them three so, miles ago. So, so what are you saying about that? I just don't like that trope, I guess. I don't know. What I just trope? Feel the, the trope of just the old guy who's just not quite... So what do you think is going to happen as, uh, as a result of that? He's going to get better. Or what if he always has been better this whole time? I mean, yeah, that's the other way this could go as like, well. What if, what if like, like him losing a step or two or like not wearing the eye patch and like having like maybe a fake belly or something? Like what if he is... Because he's got like a pouch and shit, right? And like, I mean, he's fake died before. He, th- yeah, like I a, mean, this is like some Nick Fury shit. He's like, yo, I'm going back to Earth. He's like, I am like, he's he's from the get go. He's like, what? Because he he's coming. My fellow Earthicans. Way too, like he k- literally stumbles off the thing. He doesn't know. So so, you know, uh, this is this literally is, missed a step. So so here's I think what. Let's talk about the elephant in the room here, shall we? Sure. Right, because because let's let's we can do a quick rundown here uh, of the episode of uh, I mean okay so you're you're saying you were a thumbs down yes I was up but I'm very hesitantly up what what, what is it up a, what makes it up what makes it up is that <clears throat> Amelia Clark's in it and I fucking love her and she seems to be doing a pretty good job as this uh, daughter of Talos. Who uh, was, was he established beforehand, or is this a he's new in character? Captain yeah. Marvel. He's Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel, and he's at the very end of uh, uh, Far From Home. That's right. That's where I recognize him from. He was in the car, right? Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I do recognize him a little bit. I was wondering. Um, but so the, his daughter, and she's like, yeah, I'm, uh, gives him some inside information, but it turns out to be completely bogus. Bomb goes off anyway. That was super cool. I love that they were just like, you know what, bomb, middle of uh, Moscow, middle of Unity Day, a very, bunch of people just died. I wonder if that was relevant to the recent happenings. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this show was probably recorded and written years ago, so I'm probably not. Joking. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Conspiracy. Scrolls. Everything's a conspiracy. Um, but no, I, I was cur- I was very uh, happy to see them just like go like, yeah, fuck it, we're just gonna kill a bunch of Russian people. Yeah, it's, right. a very, okay, it's a very so, dark so ending for a Marvel. So thing. when you s- and they so, also so shot Amelia Hill. Clark. So Amelia Clark is is you're like I like anything with Amelia Clark. That's your your that was your your head go to. Okay. Almost anything except Solo. Okay, so what did you 
you're a thumbs up as well. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 mostly a thumbs up on this only because it's a thumbs up, thumbs down, and I'm not thumbs down. Um, but well, I which like sticks out. Like, what do you like? Uh, I so I like whenever Marvel does more kind of of the like the the espionage mm-hmm. Winter Soldier kind of stuff. So you like this um, ending kind of? I like the ending. I like the kind of the the atmosphere. Um, I really like uh, Talos in this, who is before in Captain Marvel and an end credit scene, and I didn't really care about him at all. Is then. the actor who he, his kind of base human form is that actually him? Yes. Okay. Because I had no idea what he looked like um, outside of the, the Talos. Well, I mean, he's a he's a green scroll, but that he, right. What I'm saying is that like the but when he's a human character, when Ben Mendelsohn, that is that what he looks like, Talos. I don't know if I know Jesus what you're asking. Christ. Okay, Talos is usually in green. Maybe the actor that plays him is in yes. green makeup all the time yes. or whatever. Yes. When he's not in that, is that what he looks like? Yes. The, okay. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> like, I, I was. I was. Start, I really lost. I dropped that one hard. <laughs> okay. Um. So. So. Yeah. That because because there was a couple jokes on. That. He's good. He's a really good actor. Yeah. Um. The no. There was a lot of great acting in this. Um. Uh, the the British woman. Uh. From MI6 or whatever. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. was was great. <laughs> She's of note. I I do think that um. But uh, so I, I think what was neat in the end uh, for this was um, you get a significant death here. Um, Probably I, one of I, did, I so I didn't see Ant Man. Um, so other than other than that, which I don't know, is this the only real like significant death we've had in a while? Uh, what do you? Th- I mean, Endgame was. Well, what? sure, but I'm saying like post. You didn't see Quantum Mania. Quantum Mania, sure. Well, did you see Quantum? Uh, I, 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 you said. Oh Ant no, Man. Quantum Mania. I did not say no. Is that the Ant Man you're referring to? Yes, There's three yes, of them. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That one I did not say. Okay. I'm I'm thinking like recent Marvel things. This is like the sort of the biggest um, profile death I've seen in a while. Yeah, I mean, well, Endgame obviously has a mul- multiple deaths. Sure. Um, sure. <sighs> did we have uh, any deaths in the television shows? Uh, they pretty much confirmed Vision's gone, but then they birthed White yeah, Vision. Vision dies. Um, Wanda is arguably dead. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, I forgot about Wanda. Okay. I mean, Doctor Strange. Yeah. So uh, Doctor Strange is alive. Uh, Peter's, no, I meant Doctor Peter's, Strange. Peter's Peter's erased. At least mm-hmm. Peter's portion of it is. So I, I don't know, like. I wouldn't say, like it, it's it's a significant death that's like where where you have like a. A uh, non superpower character, and generally those deaths are more significant in some ways mm-hmm. because, like, it's it's why you have like a Natasha Romanoff, like, like, like you know, it's stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's a, a neat way. I think it was shot well. Mm-hmm. Um, the performance by the guy in the beginning, uh, who was uh, the Lord of Light, the Lord of the Light, uh, Darkness guy. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez, uh, he was uh, uh, he, Richard he Dormer. Was, he, man, he is. They were like, "Can you can you ham it up more? Can you go hot? <laughs> yeah, can you go more. Give me more." Scrolls. When he when he points at the screen and says, "That's what they want you to think," That's I was like, "Fucking, I'm in, bro." He, I was. We need was you to so watch. Growly. We need you to so watch hours and hours of Alex Jones, and then you can do this performance. <laughs> <laughs> I, listen, what's his, what's this actor's name? Do you, do Richard know? Dormer. Richard Dormer. They were like Richard. Richard. I'm gonna need you to do this blow and then do the take. <laughs> <laughs> but sir, that's a pillowcase. I know what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I got it. Uh, uh, Scrolls. Um. Anyway, so what they th- want so, you to think. So, so uh, also, uh, Jim Halpert. Uh, Martin Freeman. British. The British. Jim Halpert, Martin um, Freeman. Yeah, he's he's always great. I loved him in the beginning. Uh, I you know I, I'm intrigued to to, under, to learn. I, I and I I honestly don't want to drug out too long. Uh, I could take about three episodes, and I need to know how long. Well, this is he's been a scroll. Six, has, right? Has the, has he been a scroll since we've been introduced to him in in uh, Captain America: Civil War, or? Is this new? Has he been to Wakanda as a scroll? Yeah. Sure. Is it like before he got captured? Like, like, like yeah. What is this? So I, I, I dug it. I, I liked the world building they were they were doing in that scene. It's a well done scene to kind of catch up them. And there's a lot of like you know Martin Freeman's good in, in that role of just kind of like playing the camera of like 
looking and, and not being able to kind of read what exactly he's doing. So, so that all is really well done. Uh, the, the things that I think um, overshadowed it were <laughs> the fact that I think, <laughs> so uh, we're going to get into this now. Uh, the opening credits, um, I think, overshadowed a lot of the show for people. Because I remember, yeah, I was I was trying like, very hard to not have that be a factor. Yeah, I, I I'm not saying that um, even that they're it's bad per se. I'm just saying that ooh, I don't know if I really want to watch that all the time. And it's and it, at the same token, um, that's kind of the point. It's unnerving, and it, it and it, and and that's what I I think they went with and. It's definitely given me a different feel for a Marvel movie, and that's what I, in the end, also kind of pushes this over in a kind of like, mm, that's a chance. Like, they are absolutely saying, fuck you to the audience in some ways, and they know they have to know some of that. I think it's baked into the DNA of it. I think what people are literally complaining about is like, they know. They know what they did. They like, they, And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> they know what they did. It's, it's Disney. They like, definitely they know definitely what they're doing. Know, like, this is like... It, Dude, this is that that portion where the creative said, "No, that absolutely fits the thing," and I'm not sacrificing my art for your producer bullshit. But the producers are like, "Fucking yeah, do it, do it!" <laughs> like, and I think it's whatever. It's 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 uh, people hate mutually um, beneficial. They want the other person to lose, and and all the, like they hate like compromise, like compromise, like. This is like exactly the same thing that's going on in the nation right now where like Joe Biden can't get any approval ratings, even though fucking everyone's like, yeah, but everything's pretty much fine. Everything's pretty much fine. He's also getting like all this shit passed. There's all this infrastructure being built. He's doing all this shit that the next guy's going to get credit for. <laughs> oh, it's so funny though. But like, it's exactly what, what is, is happening here. Like, it's it's like no one likes it. Cause you're like, nah, it's just a. Right, I'm a but I I am not gonna listen to like the writing on the wall. I'm judging this and reviewing this piece. And uh, this piece is supposed to make me feel like things are off. It's supposed to kind of maybe strike in a more grounded espionage spy thing. The thing that really mm -hmm. really lament uh, solidified Marvel as like legitimate and beyond just kind of like. Like I, I know Iron Man and all those things were like good movies and stuff, but like they were going into Captain America, like the first one, and the and, and the stuff was kind of out there. It was getting out there with Thor and things like that, and and then they brought it back with uh, Captain America: Civil War, being pretty. It felt real. It felt like a grounded world, mm -hmm. and that's and, what and really sold it. Winter Soldier's a little bit more grounded than Civil War is, and that it, Civil War is a good... That's what I meant. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Civ Civil War is sort of an in-between of like, it's going to be pretty much that, but we're going to get some big... Huge, I'm actually not a huge fan of Civil War. I, I, know, I, I, I was before, yeah. I was mentioning... I was meaning Winter Soldier that whole time. Uh, that was the one that really put this on. Mm -hmm. as uh, the, uh, And I think that that's what they're getting back to. Um, without the benefit of a Steve Rogers or in this case even a Bucky um, or Falcon or Natasha Romanoff, like, <laughs> like isn't uh, Falcon's in it briefly, right? No, or, this is Don wow. Cheadle. You're being racist. Yeah, it's what? War Machine. It's uh, War Machine. Do you want to no. take that again? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I got completely messed up, and I don't know how that happened. I genuinely fucked up. <clears throat> I'm just um, gonna. Uh, Rhodey's in it. Yeah, he is in it. He is in it. I For knew like, it was and, I, it's, <laughs> This is, and then like Dermot Mulroney or Dylan McDermott or somebody is, <laughs> is the president now. Oh, yeah. yeah so yeah. also, do we know that Harrison Ford is uh, going to be? He's supposed to be Thunderbolt Ross as the he, Red Hulk. He's taking over. Is that supposed to be in no, this? No, no, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be Red Hulk, but he's, but he's taking over the role from what's his from. Um, Oh, Fro oh my God! What's his name? He's, he's, he's in, great. He was in Scar. Uh, oh, he's so good, he and I don't in, remember his he was name. He's in Black Widow. Uh, he's in. He's in, oh yeah 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 yeah. The, the 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 Civil War. He did the Accords. He's the he's the antagonist, arguably to Hulk, right? Like yeah. Thunderbolt Ross. He was uh, he was like the Secretary General in uh, this in in Infinity War. I think like when they when they come. Thaddeus back. Ross is the guy's name. Sure. Well, we want the actor that died. Oh, yeah. Uh, b -b 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 give me two seconds. Yeah, it's, to um, it's, it's, I don't know. John Finch. No. <laughs> Greaves. 
Uh, okay, keep going, keep no, going. No, this, no, is this is good stuff. This is good stuff. Mulaney. Do you know why? <laughs> why <laughs> can't you remember my name? <laughs> I'm not. You William Hurt. Will, William uh, Hurt. Will I Hurt, right. <laughs> That's why I thought John. I thought John Hurt, which is a different guy. Jert. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, I yeah, mean, so, he, so Harrison Ford's taking over his role for the president. Is he in this confirmed? I don't know if he's in this. He's just taking over that role in Trump. general in the, in the, in the Yeah, thing. he's he's signed on to play but Thaddeus the dude's, Ross. Oh, no, no, not, not yet. Yeah, Thaddeus Ross. And that was my theory that he's maybe going, they're going to put him in that presidential role because, okay, so in the comic books for your deep dive sessions here, um, Secret Invasion ends... Was with, that my watch talking or yours? Mine. It, it ends with um, with Norman Osborn. True. So I, I can pretty much confidently say that this is not a spo- spoiler for the show. <laughs> I don't think Norman Osborn is coming here. Uh, because it's, it's like, basically at this point, he's like heading up uh, the Thunderbolts, right? Mm-hmm. And so, which is uh, uh, obviously named to Thunderbolts. So it makes way more sense that the Thunderbolts are going to be headed by Thunderbolt Ross <laughs> in some sense. That show, that movie is confirmed. And um, that, like, basically Secret Invasion is going to lead into that. Mm-hmm. Because, and w- what makes sense is that Thunderbolt then, whatever, Thunderbolt Ross. I, I, Ross. Thunderbolt Ross. Yeah. Ross take, it's, it's takes, on, takes it's... on the normal, t- takes on the normal Norman Osborn role of, quote unquote, getting the kill shot against the scrolls. Oh, okay. Which means that, like, he is televised as, like, being the one that actually does, like, the last thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and gets, and basically takes over Nick Fury's role as the head of S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay. So that could be, or, or you know, whatever it is at this point, you know. Um, that could be altered, you know, mixed up to, to be yeah. Ross. I'm wondering. Ross leading into his own Thunderbolts. And maybe him being president, I don't know. Like that could be like a, a role that I think is more likely because I don't ever buy Ross stepping into the super secret. It, like that's just Nick Fury is, and he's not that guy. Whereas like I could see him being the president and like having his own super team, like and and it being yeah. basically the same thing. Right. I'm also um, I'm also wondering and that could how... really lead into uh, uh, Dark Avengers. Which do you I, see him being like a Dark uh... Avengers? If they if they may really did it, that would be cool. You see him as being like Viola Davis's character from uh, Suicide Squad shit? Oh, that's exactly what they... Well, kind of. They What they did with Norman Osborn is that he actually joined the team too as Iron Patriot, like did his own thing. Oh, but neat. Like, but um, that's when they did Civil War and they, or whatever, and they had Iron Patriot in it or, or Iron Man 2 or whatever. They were like, oh my God, Iron Patriot, but it's just Rhodey in the suit. Like, it's not. No. Oh, right, right, right. So like, but like Iron Patriot was Norman Osborn in the suit. Um Basically, a war machine suit with, you know, red, white, and blue on it. Um, but it looked cool. But he created the whole Dark Avengers, which are the like in like basically a bunch of supervillains in the superheroes' costumes. So like Dak and Wolverine's son, who has like basically the same powers as him, is like Wolverine, <laughs> and um, Bullseye is Hawkeye. <laughs> like, and uh, what is it like? Oh, there was some of the guys are like they're like some anti-heroes that were just on the team like Ares the god of war mm-hmm. was on the actual Avengers and he's just like well isn't there a it. robot Thor uh that was in the Civil War that was something different okay uh there was there somebody else played Miss Marvel uh she was like I forget her name uh, but like Songbird or something like mm-hmm. but she's a villain um interesting interesting they, and I'm trying to think of the other ones uh they oh, a Venom was Spider-Man <laughs> wow. it, it just went on like it was like it was like, oh, every, it was literally just the inverse of everything, and it was brutal, like, because they were literally the official Avengers, and your real Avengers were on the run. And that's kind of a great place, I think, for it to go, because, A, that's grounded. That was probably some of the absolute best writing in the uh, that era. Mm-hmm. And if they want to go doing their best to kind of generate that era of the, of the, the Marvel stuff because basically you remember that like the first stage and and uh, of the Marvel universe the origin of it was very distinctly the the uh, ultimate universe 
where Nick Fury is Nick Fury, not David Hasselhoff. Right. <laughs> Samuel <laughs> Jackson, not, not, <laughs> not David Hasselhoff. And, and, and it, it, oh, they should go to a multiverse <laughs> with Stephen Hasselhoff. Right. Dude. They, they, and then they have, um, and then the, as they build it now, like when they started to do the, the Bendis years, which essentially this is kind of, it starts be long before Secret Invasion. It's like really Civil War stuff. It's like long before, but like Avengers disassembled probably. But like it, it's, we're in that aftermath era of like years of continuity. And that was kind of what made Bendis's run work is that now it works with a tired audience <laughs> or an audience that knows all of the history. Sure. And and can now appreciate kind of like right, it bo- it both, uh, the writing that is that is made to kind of work that way. Right. It both mixes it up for people who are bored and also kind of rewards everybody for actually reading all the stuff before it. That's what Bendis' runs were really good at. And that's why I think a, basically a seven year, I think it was about a seven year storyline that he did between Avengers Disassembled and uh, Siege which are like probably five different like big like every year there was a every other year or something there was that and and so that was like an amazing run of of stuff if they want to try to recreate that that that's my big promise i don't feel like they put that on the page but i'm kind of like eh, i mm-hmm. see what they're trying to do yeah i i i was actually wondering how so secret invasion for me was like always i was like a young kid who didn't really have comic books or buy them or anything that obviously because no income um and uh, but also like why didn't you get off your ass and get a job i uh, so i was eight um but <laughs> so kids can work in the mines it's not you're not incorrect they yearn for it actually um they are miners after all yeah that's true i mm-hmm. should have just i should just fucking grind it harder um but uh plus they can get into crevices that uh, the adults can't that's true and yeah I'll, yeah <laughs> Yondu said that. That's why he kept Quill around all those years. <laughs> I'm your daddy. <laughs> but but no, Secret Invasion was always like this thing that like I didn't read, but was always like, oh, this is super cool, this super original idea of people like stealing each other's bodies. And then I grew up and I was like, oh, there's 900 other things. That are yeah. Um, but but it was always it was always like a super yeah, cool you, idea. What are you an idiot? <laughs> I, I don't know. I was a young kid. You're I was dumb. I was. You didn't know anything? you big dumb <laughs> hunk of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get a job. I'm sorry I didn't know th- all the history of comic books and media. Even working in a mine. <laughs> Being eight is not an excuse. Come on, there's it's plenty true. of good kids out there. Not even working in a mine. You're right. Yeah, not even working in a mine. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm secretly invading. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I, but I I I don't know a whole lot about the comic other than like that that like. I, I knew the stuff about Iron Patriot. I knew the stuff about Norman Osborn. Well, they're the same thing. And I, I know that um, Spider-Woman played a big part in it that isn't really... She's not in it at all, probably. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, kind of. Like, Spider-Woman is Spider-Woman the Spider-Woman as Gwen Stacy? Spider- no, no. Spider-Woman, Jessica jo- Jessica, Jessica Drew. Um, uh, but a different variant than the one you probably saw in, in the Spider-Verse. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Like, she she was had had at that point been on these new Avengers that had, that had started and they were probably like 30 issues in or something like that. And, and, uh, she had just in the last year joined the team. So like last like 12 issues, she'd probably be like on the team, you know, like that point. And, uh, she, she, she was like killed or something or I don't know, revealed to be a scroll. Like, like, uh, she was like or the no, scroll wait, or queen, it, right? Yeah. Well, Wait a minute. Let me back that up. No, that was Electra. I- I'm-, I'm mixing that up or Echo or somebody like that. Somebody died, and then mm. they-, they formed into a scroll, and then they were in like facing it. Um, then yes, yeah, she ended up in, but I I don't remember any of that story beyond like the end of it, uh, and like a bunch of like panel shots where like a the- at one point it was pretty neat. They like released like a s- a spaceship, and off of it came like all of the superheroes from the like 1980s and 90s like basically but like there's a ton of them there but they're like their current version of themselves and where these ones had like the 80s costumes on and stuff like that so you're just like oh fuck have they been are they the real ones (laughs) and they've been like trapped all this time and (laughs) what and like what they ended up being were um were just like re like so there's a there's sleeper scrolls too there's a ton of sleepers. Like they don't even know that they're scrolls. 
<laughs> like, so I think, I think, um, I think you're going to hunge, hunge. Oh man. Oh, this is in, this could be interesting. I I, I called because we're gonna we have, check the tapes. Um, I called because this is where this actually starts back in Wandavision. Um, I, I I said that Photon is gonna be a scroll. Sure. Uh, you know she is obviously in the Marvels, so they are keeping that character. <laughs> um, I wouldn't be surprised if that. I don't think that excludes the fact that they they are a scroll, right? Like I think they could be a scroll. Um, or she could be a new version of it, or they could reformat it. I don't know. They could do a ton of things between mm-hmm. now and then, but I, I'm still holding true to that. She's literally visited by a scroll at the end of it, and then they point to upstairs like, you well, want to go back. Well, that's, like, a, that's a good, that's a good uh, uh, lead into for kind of what my biggest fear is of the show. This being a TV show, do you think that they sort of wrap up the show? Like, do you think that there's a possibility is, where they wrap up the show and then there's they they're like, okay, we stopped the invasion and we're not going to see like characters turn. It doesn't in a movie. cross over actually, because um, mm-hmm. secret. You're, I mean, you're right. Secret Invasion, like it both works as a mini. It is a mini series, right? right? So that makes sense to for the show. Um I mean, I'd but, be I'd be a like, little bummed out if we but, didn't get like, but it, but it's a, a it's also a big crossover. Yeah. So like, you're supposed to get it affecting different things, which is, you know, the world that you were building. But they they also also were taking a step back from that. W- but also, what I want to know is when does the Marvels come out? I want to say a year, two years. No, no, it's, it's, it's before you're, that. You're the trailers very, are out. You're usually wrong about them. so so many. Uh, this year, 2023. It says. Yes, it's it's month. It's like a month or two away. No, it comes out on my fucking birthday. When is that? <laughs> November 10th. Oh, it's November. So that's well after this series is over. So if we're dealing with fo- like, uh, uh, is there a possibility this? doesn't get resolved in, in at the end of this I series. I am kind of hoping it doesn't because uh, and and I, I hope it does because I hope it's that would make for a good show. But I think it would it, be, especially if they come back for a season 2. Yeah. If it's good like an espionage show, you get this or it morphs into something but, different but like this is weird. You're not I mean obviously you're not going to get this stuff with Loki. They're going to be dealing with that sure. Loki verse. Uh <laughs> it's just kind of its own Yeah, thing. Loki Loki's almost so big Idea wise, that you like universe wise, that you're almost like, you could, eh, well, you could cross over there, sure, you, you could, and then they end up in a multiversal kind yeah, of, yeah, that's an easy way out of that. Uh, just do a, a, a version, right? And that. then you do what if season two when there's scrolls, or they just do a panoramic shot of like a, a Cree scroll war, like, mm-hmm. and you're just like, oh, that's oh, and you do the Leonardo DiCaprio, and then, you get, <laughs> and, then and then that's it. Um, that sounds right. <laughs> yeah, I just I just hope that it eventually branches off into something and isn't just like here's your six episodes. I, I agree, and with I don't you. think it's just that's a six. Happen. It's just a six. I think I looked it up before. I this. believe it is a six. I'm double checking that now. I mean, it just seems like now there was a lot of uh, characters in this episode. I think they did a good job of the building of the world building. And and I did I did really feel for the uh, the scrolls in there kind of look for a for a home and something mm-hmm. like that, um, and and they did a good enough job with the creep factor of the, the stuff. It wasn't the little girl with the ball and so I, I was like, all right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it, uh, what I, what I think was just like you didn't put it on the page enough, or it it, it was too uh, on the nose to the point of like. <sighs> How, how do you, they no, they didn't. They, I don't think they sold it enough. Yes, I can rewatch the show and realize that like the girl was in a scene earlier in the in the show, right. and then like the, the girl and the woman on a bench was let he pass. Like all the people that he turns into at the end are as he's walking through the crowd are people that were like in the scenes with him earlier. So like yeah. he's been there the entire time is the idea, but. I'm telling you that was not on the page. If you like, if you, they are not distinctive moments enough to like, for me to like put that together as I'm watching it. You have to be like told that after mm-hmm. or just like, or on a second or third viewing, like see those pieces. And you're like, okay, this is, that's like, cause they weren't, what you do is you do that once or twice. You don't do it with like six different characters, which I get you're trying to do scrolls. But like, uh, yeah, I got I got the ball I bought got the ball girl I, I got the um I got the uh, the guy in the bar 
But really, everybody Guy else. Guy in the is, bar was the was the big one. Sure, that was the one. Yeah, because I because I remember him trying like speaking in Russian, being like, "What'd you say?" Like, and that was kind of neat and off putting. But I, 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 the placement of the scene was weird. There I was, it, it 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 piqued my spidey sense when he called Nick out and he was like, "You're not the guy you used to be." It's like, how does Joe Schmo in Russia know who Nick Fury is? Like on site. I think the idea was that he was. Uh, a guy at a bar talking to people in a crowd and he was just the, all the shit, the entire environment that he obviously in hindsight is creating for this motherfucker is getting to him. And he just like, he was saying it enough to be like, Oh, he was just saying it in conversation with the person next to him. And Nick Fury was like, you talking to me? Like, because he's saying shit that applies to him in his. Oh, like, okay. I see like, so mean. he could like the I the I think that's the the conceit of what the the guy in the bar was saying. He was like, "You're not the man you used to be," but he was talking to whoever. Got it. Uh, but, I've got a theory because it's theory time because we're uh, we're we're approaching the end of the episode. Thrafting. My, my theory, theory is thrafting. that Prescott's theory in the beginning of the episode about the scrolls inciting war between the U.S. and Russia is like the finale of the show. And it, that that's what leads into Marvels, is President America and President Russia declaring war on one another. And now the Avengers have to like rebrand or the Marvels have to step in and stop it. It is pretty Before wild nuclear that, annihilation. It is pretty wild that they elected people with the last names of the countries. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Talk about nominative determinism. Um, yeah, I, um, mm. I, I... I think the end of the show is... Very distinctly, you get probably against Fury's wishes. Probably Fury putting an end to this ish uh, for now, and then, uh, but but President or whatever, however it is, or Ross being like, no, now uh, now we're gonna we're gonna release the Thunderbolts initiative to, because we have to we have to and and whatever we're get it is, some kind of whatever reveal. it is is gonna be like. Fury is going to still obviously be on the orbital space station and and kind of in that, but meanwhile they're going to be executing a second initiative, uh, you know, almost in in response to it, like you're not doing your job enough, whatever. Maybe because uh, obviously I think uh, he, Fury's uh, status is going to be official in some capacity mm -hmm. there, so I don't think it's going to be like, but I think they're going to be like competing. I think that's what we're going to get. The Thunderbolts kind of like, oh, we're just like a shadow. Because that's kind of where the Thunderbolts started. They always they were just in the shadow. They were kind of like in a shadow strike force more like um, until they came out to the light. Um, I think what they'll probably be is like the more public face of the Avengers because there are really no official Avengers. Uh, so what they're going to get is the people like Winter Soldier or a couple of these guys that are at least the face of it. And they're going to make them Avengers. I could easily see somebody like 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 uh, Winter Soldier being Hawkeye, yeah, and and her being uh, Scarlet Witch. Like it's just there's two new assassins. Um, you get a, a Captain a Russia guy that's going to be like a Captain America. You, well, they have U.S. They, agent, right? U.S. A, yeah, okay. They and they US have agent. Kate Bishop, the new Hawkeye. Kate Bishop, sure. Kate well, Bishop. I she, I don't know if she. I don't think she. she I I don't think she would do that. I think. Uh, but they would have, um, they would have maybe somebody like, uh, they, you could, ooh, you could get a Daredevil Bullseye introduction, and that sure. could, that ooh. that would be, epic. Ooh, that yeah, would be a great reveal for that movie. What's the um, what's the 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 girl that was in um, Hawkeye? Echo, Echo, yeah. No, they they, they released the the. Well, people. she's getting her own show. Yeah, they released the people that that are said to be in it, and one, uh, they I don't think um, what's his face. Big guy from Hulk. Kingpin? No, no, none of them. Abomination, you mean? Big Abomination's Hulk, not. not uh, I don't think listed as it. Maybe. No, I don't think they did them. I don't. I don't know. We're not getting a uh, a Shulk, She Hulk. No, no I actually, from what I remember, they weren't a whole lot of super powered members. There was like no. one or two guys with superpowers. Yeah, they they yeah, it was just the guy from uh, Black Widow. Yeah, uh, Florence Pugh. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Alexia, I know. I know. Bucky's on it. Johnny or John Walker. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, yeah. It's basically did, like three did, Captain Americas and a bunch of assassins. They they did spoil some shit though. They, there's I don't know if this is spoilery or speculation, but Julie Louise Dreyfus' character is in there. Did they establish that the Sentry would be in this? 
I don't think so. Have you not heard that Stephen Yeun might voice the Sentry? I was not. A, I I didn't know anything about this. Or uh, they're also potentially saying uh, hmm. uh, uh, Paul Bettany. So Vision, you can see in there. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. for some reason I thought you meant Paul Bettany a century. I was like, that's weird. Yeah, <laughs> he's already uh, a character. In okay, MCU. so the, so the ones I saw in the pictures, the, the ones that they released uh, at at a thing was Florence Pugh, Winter Soldier. So Black Widow, Winter Soldier. Who was the Red Guardian? Red Guardian. Red Gar- Who was the Red Guardian guy? Yeah. Ghost from Ghost. Ant-Man 2. Okay, that's Powers. Um, yeah, uh, uh, and Taskmaster. Okay, and and John Walker, uh, U.S. agent. Yeah, so and, it's like yeah, game. so it's like Ghost, three Captain Americas, and a bunch of assassins. <laughs> yeah, you have three three Captain Americas, two um, two uh, Black Widows, two two Black Widows, two Black Widows. That's true. Two Black Widows, uh, three uh, uh, Captain Americas, and a Ghost, and a partridge in a pear tree, and a, and a Julie Louise Dreyfus. Yeah, <laughs> which does which goes a long way, Todd. Um, okay, that's it for me. I think I'm good on this. This uh, it was intriguing. I'm intrigued to see what happens next. Um, yeah. I, I think they need to amp it up a little bit uh, because, as much as uh, how, Marvel, if you really think that your splash on the, the the opening credits and and a death of a character that we haven't <sighs> bothered with for five years now. Um, is is somebody we care about like that that's not gonna do like you you did enough to get to the next round again um it looks nice but do stuff like do Mm -hmm. things like this thing should happen and not on episode six only so like it it can't be one and six like if then if then i can understand a second episode lull for especially for these but they shouldn't be a six episodes man right it's and then, six episodes dude just make them all count yeah uh, i i agree and i'm and i am also afraid of them just wrapping up the whole scroll thing calling it a day because the fun of scroll stuff is to be like which superhero is is like yeah. who do you do you trust well that, 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 that was part of a great marketing campaign during the comic years was was just that they had these advertisements and you wouldn't know who a scroll was. It was like, it was like, uh, what was the thing they showed? Basically they had all kinds of covers where Wolverine has like the scroll chin mm-hmm. and then like, or this person has a scroll chin and like, it's just, you saw every character like, like who can you trust? I think was like mm-hmm. the big thing. So it was like really interwoven into everything. But, and but at right. the same time, it's it's also a whole how, thing how of how great would this have worked if we, if we were watching Wandavision? About how about those that year or three where we we was just another show for another show? Sure. What if like, the scroll fucking invasion was all through that shit? Mm-hmm. Like, come on. And, and the the other problem is the only problem is I can un, I can also understand uh, uh, there being uh, at least one cook in the kitchen of be, basically being like, well, we can't say that like this character was a scroll because then we have three movies that turns out they weren't even a part of or like well, yeah well, well uh, and that's you know they can always get around that comic book, sure but like, i i, they, I completely agree right. i'm just thinking that's what but somebody have, but might no, say. they can do those things because those movies still stand and a lot of times like, what, like i said they what they were trying to do with the sleeper scrolls was to say that like the those people were innocent like they mm-hmm. may be scrolls but like they didn't know <laughs> they were just being themselves so like those are those are things uh and then uh, memory transfers, uh, not to mention, because they already show that they can do that to some level. So I could see them doing that as well. Uh, but I, and, and then also being a reboot for some characters. Sure. To be like, oh, well, you know, I, that, was, that wasn't me. Uh, but this is. The Shaggy defense. Right. It wasn't me. Yeah. I, I just hope... She got episode me in episode the, six ends with the possibility me. of more scroll stuff. And, and But I also... I checked out of comic books as a kid when they started being like, but that wasn't really so and so. It was so and so pretending to be this person. And oh, you mean like, right when away? Did, when did you drop out of Scooby Doo? <laughs> no, it's just, it's just, uh, it's, when I start not being able to believe these people are really those people. Like for the for the series, I get it, and that's a cool premise. When it starts enveloping all of Marvel, like a scroll could be anybody. I'm just like, eh. I don't know. So, so you're in the boat uh, against what we're saying, then that like, oh no, I want them to wrap this up nice and tidy. <laughs> like, I, nah, I don't know. 
I, I, I want this to be worth it, and if you can sell me on scrolls, great. I'm willing to be sold on scrolls. I, I don't need scrolls to be the whole phase. I just want a little bit of... I want to at least... I'm going to say at least, like, two, three movies where it actually is, like, oh, and then, like, I, I, and I don't know. If, maybe if, if the movies in 2023 were all scroll heavy, right? Like, if, if or all had a touch. So what have we gotten, what have we gotten this year? We had Black Panther, and then we had, what, Quantumania? Yep. Quantumania was technically the first one of this year. Uh, Black Panther was the end of last yeah, okay. year. So let's, let's just say in this phase, you had a little, because you had, you had, uh, Barn Freeman in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get a little bit of scroll action there. You get maybe something permeating through there. Cool. Uh, and, and the thing is that you might, but you or you might have because you've had characters like Julie Louis Dreyfus and these other people, and mm-hmm. it's like if they're later revealed to be scrolls. Oh. Yeah, you can retroactively <laughs> say there's been a bunch of scroll yeah. stuff, but that's not the same thing. Is it, it, it like how? Because. You guys are right. The I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off too bad. The the Marvel movies are very very dry this year for movies. It's just no, Ant Man, Guardians, and uh, Spider Verse, which already came a big out. Step back. And Guardians, then Guardians, Marvels. wouldn't Guardians wouldn't have uh, any real strong connection yeah. to it. So you really would have just had Quantum Mania to maybe maybe throw something in there. But like you could in that case, I think you'd probably just have like a report on the TV or something fine but yeah in black panther you could have had in addition to these talks at the un you could have had somebody saying like and what of this like recent body we found this with green skin like you could have these little mm-hmm. hints building that they didn't quite do uh definitely not the way that they used to we're just like well that's where you're going you don't know you're, you know and you also right and also this whole kitchen. this whole phase is is also kang is also uh, um, right, like there, there's another yeah. villain that's um, sitting around somewhere, right? Well, Wanda was Wanda in Shore. the background of all of that. I mean, mm. and Agatha. It was Agatha all along, you guys. <laughs> I, I, I am spent. I'm spent. My, yeah. my poor voice. Yeah, that's it. All right. Um, so that wraps up our coverage of Scrollness for Secret Invasion Scroll episode one. Mania. Uh, we might start doing these on Thursday after the episode comes out. Like, would that would be a smart move? No, so. that would be. But no, we're ruining our whole thing. Oh, our whole our stick whole, of doing it the day before. Our whole stick. Listen, listener, and one of you listening, it's you. Yeah, it's 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 the one that well, you were just, you, you were so psyched to be to get coverage of 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 Secret Invasion review of episode two. And you downloaded this really quickly, and you're like, "Oh, there it is!" And let's go. review of episode one. Why one? It's a week late. I thought you were the first one that did two, not the last one to do one. And then you still stuck around to the end. <laughs> Look at you! You're a champ. You should listen late. I mean, if you were enjoying this, um, there's nothing you can actually do because we're not monetized. This is just no. Just I, I don't. I actually lose money doing this yes, podcast yes, every yes, month. Yes, 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 yes. But thank you for listening. Uh, that's the joy that we get in no way monetarily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's literally why I do this is to to see those. You n- could those throw numbers. money at your monitor and see if that does anything. Yeah, you could throw money at the monitor and see if. I mean, maybe I feel like a wave. Don't do coins though. You probably no, would mess it up. No, You'd probably scratch no. the screen. Or you save your money. You go to Sweet Lucy's in Northeast Philly down Yo, on Cotman, hey. and you go ahead and you get yourself some good roast pork. No, no. And they're mac you and take cheese. A, you want to go to Koreatown, okay? In Korea, Koreatown? Koreatown. Is that a real Asha? place? Yo, Koreatown. They got all the barbecue chips. <laughs> Just ask for Mike. If you guys want brunch, go to Sabrina's Cafe in University City. Oh, they oh, have a, a... Korea Mike. Korea Mike. They have a French toast martini. It's a great brunch be- a beverage, I'm just saying. Frotini.